in the Mile High City, the standards are just as high. It's Elway leading the drive. And going back to back with Sharp and Shanahan. In Denver, they still win for John. These are the Broncos. Miami football. As rich and vibrant as the city they play in. From the perfection of 72. To a perfect Marino pass. Shining with their community. These are the Dolphins. Welcome to the AFC Championship game here in Sun Life Stadium. Get ready for a wild game from these two wildcard teams as this is the first time in NFL history that the number five seed will host the number six seed in a match to determine who is going to the Super Bowl. Ryan Tannehill tries to get over his struggles to lead this team to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1985 while Peyton Manning tries to return Denver to the promised land since Elway did it back in 1999. For the first time in the playoffs this year, the Dolphins will not start with the ball. They'll be kicking off. Wes Welker is back to return the kick. Do you remember when Miami traded him away for a second round pick? Based on how Welker just ran over those two Dolphins players, I think he remembers too. Denver will start at the 46. Here comes the Sheriff, Peyton Manning, 5,205 yards. Oh, well, the Dolphins are... Dolphins defense actually has been pretty good. Nice touch pass over Jones to Decker for four yards. Manning loves the shotgun formation. Clean pocket, nice throw to Dreesen, who heads up field and tackled at the 26. Just outside the red zone, Manning quick drop back. Dreesen with a catch, and they're in the red zone now. Do you remember Peyton Hillis? He's back with Denver. You thought one Peyton was bad, try two. Third down. Manning rolls to his right, throws down the middle, Thomas somehow holds on to the ball. First and goal. Only five yards away from the end zone. Manning with all the time, and well that couldn't have been any easier. Denver takes the early 7-0 lead on Miami. No one thought this game was going to be easy for Miami, but I don't think they ever expected Denver to come out this fast. Wallace was injured last week, but is back today returning from the end zone with space on the sideline and downed at the 37. Here comes the former wide out. Uh, what do you mean people are tired of hearing that? Let's see what Tannehill can do. Play action to Miller. Good protection in the pocket. Throws to Hartline and he can't keep his feet in bounds. Next play, Tannehill. Quick throw to Hartline. Had to reach for the moon on that one and hold on for a three yard gain. Third down, Tannehill has not been fantastic in the playoffs so far, and that bounced off a Denver helmet. Heads up play by the defender. All season long, Tannehill has been a question mark. The past two playoff games have proven this defense and running game can carry the team, so why are they asking Tannehill to do more than he can give? First play for Denver, and they hand it off to the Madden 12 cover athlete. Gains three on the play. I'm sure Manning wishes he was on the cover of Madden. Paid in the Payton for a gain of five. Third down, they pitch it to Hillis, left side, gets a good enough block to get to the edge, and the first down. Have you ever seen all the Harry Potter films? You could probably see them all and still catch the end of this play. Manning deep to Dreesen, and that's just asking too much out of your linebacker. New set of downs, Broncos read action, I'm pretty sure everyone and their mamas know. Payton is not keeping that, pushed out at the 21. In the shotgun again, Manning to Thomas on a quick in route, runs over the defender and tackled a yard shorter the first. Inches away from goal to goal situation, Manning throws to his right and almost picked off twice. Manning in the shotgun has time, throws, corner, Decker, touchdown Broncos. They're now going to be up 14-0 and it's not even the end of the first quarter. Miami is struggling today. They went three and out on their only drive, down by two touchdowns. There's still plenty of time left on the clock, but they need to show some urgency. First play, Tannehill dump off to Miller to avoid the blitz and gains about six. Next play, play action, another short pass, this time to Wallace who gets the first. 
They need to give Tannehill more short, easy passes to build his confidence. He has plenty of time, but checks it down to Miller, but that'll be flagged for illegal touching. Next play, Tannehill drops back, looks to be panicking, checks it down to Keller who can't stay in bounds. Empty back set, Broncos only bring a three-man rush. He has a guy open deep, but his own lineman hit him, forcing the bad throw. Adams comes away with the interception. I want to show this real quick. Tannehill, as he throws, gets hit from his left tackle, which forces the bad pass. Broncos are in a very good position. Hillis hits a wall named Ellerby to end the first quarter. Denver is up 14 to nothing, but the game isn't over after one quarter. We still have three to go. To start the second quarter, Hillis takes the handoff, hoping to get back on the Madden cover. Still at midfield, Manning to Thomas over the middle, but great coverage by Marshall. Maybe a flag? The Dolphins are lucky that the defense was able to hold this drive. Tannehill has already thrown two drives away. Now they'll be starting in their own 10. First play, backed into their own end zone. Tannehill dumps it to Miller, tosses one defender, but gets hit hard out of bounds. The following play, Tannehill checks it to Miller again, and he gets blocking to hit the edge. Miller is carrying this team as hard as he can right now on offense. Now that they have some breathing room, play action, I think Tannehill's just running away from his offensive line. I don't know if that was a good or bad play. I don't know. Second down, this has been a strange game from Tannehill, but he finds Hartline over the middle to get to midfield. Marching down, w was that a fake quarterback drive? Either way, it was a bad pass. No snow, no problem. Tannehill is still inaccurate, but finds Miller, his favorite target on this drive, for a gain of seven. Third down to keep the drive alive. Tannehill throws, and well, that's one way to end the drive. Ravens made the Super Bowl with Dilfer. I don't know how, but they did. If they can do it, so can Miami. Manning play action and just throws it into the dirt. Haven't seen too many bad passes from Manning. Throws a duck to the flat and almost picked off by Taylor. The defense is going to have to step up big if they want to get back into this game. Manning steps up in the pocket and pressure forces a bad throw. Forced the three and out, but they're still giving Manning too much time to pass. They'll get another chance here with Miller returning. He's taking it up the middle. No, he goes to the sideline and gets a pretty good return out at their own 42. In good position to get some points, Tannehill looking to throw, finds Gibson on the corner route. The refs say incomplete. Didn't allow Miami to challenge, I tried. The replay shows Gibson was in bounds. Hopefully that doesn't impact the game too heavily. Tannehill, time in the pocket, throws it deep and he overthrows everyone. Third down, Tannehill sees Wallace one on one but another overthrow. They're definitely on the struggle bus right now. Tannehill throws as accurately as a trash can, and they're in desperate need to get something going. Maybe this punt is it? Downed at the two. First play from their own two, Hillis goes up the middle, but Ellerby meets him there. Next play, Hillis takes it again, but Wheeler is there for the stop. Third down, Hillis takes it for the third time, and they're just getting kicking room for the punter at this point. The Dolphins are going to get really good field position, and with the way Miller has been returning kicks today, he fumbled it. Jones falls on it, and they're going to get the ball at midfield. They're going to continue to rely on Tannehill. Throws to Hartline, but leads him into a big hit, a drop, and an injury. Second down, they hand it off to Miller. Can't find any holes, but pushes the pile forward for five yards been a rough day for Tannehill, but they're going to rely on him again. Read action. He dives and has the first down. Miami has a new set of downs. They go back to Miller, but is tackled at the line. Second down, Tannehill drops back, throws to Clay, who powers forward for the first. They're finally moving the ball down the field. Miller shoots the gap, and he's gone. Tackled inside the end zone for a touchdown. They're somehow still in this game. Denver still leads 14-7. For as bad as the Dolphins' offense has been today, they aren't out of this one yet. The defense has done its job of keeping them in it, and even with Tannehill making mistakes, they've managed to hang around. There's still time for Denver to get something going before half. Manning to Holiday, and he gets laid out by Clemens, fumbles, and recovered by Miami. They'll be starting at the 30-yard line. Holiday is laying down injured for a minute. I thought someone left their child on the field. 
Suddenly, this game got a lot more interesting. Miller with the handoff, showing his patience, and there he goes. He's gone. It's Miller time. Why pass ball when run do trick? Miami tied the game in just two offensive plays. The Dolphins tied the game in a matter of seconds. For 28 minutes, they were struggling, and in just one minute, they tied it. There's a reason why it's called any given Sunday. Now, are the Broncos going to risk it like they did last time? Manning finds Decker over the middle for a 19-yard gain. Next play with a minute to go, Manning throws to Dreesen in the flat, heads up field and pushed out in Miami territory. Denver is slowly carving up this defense, Manning finds Welker for an 8-yard gain. Second down, Manning sits in the pocket and Wake lays him down. They hurry up to the line, Manning has time, throws, King makes the sideline catch. The Broncos are not slowing down, Manning with all that time finds Welker for the first down. Less than 25 seconds left in the half. Has Welker in the flat. He has an angle, but he doesn't get in. Down at the one. With only five seconds left, Manning drays in. And just like that, they're back on top. They just have too many weapons. This will most likely be the final play in the half. Miami should feel good keeping up with the Broncos. It could easily be a blowout right now, but they've somehow managed. The Broncos are leading 21-14, but Miami hasn't stopped fighting. The second half is setting up to be a good one. Welcome back to the second half. Miami Dolphins will be getting the ball, and let's see if they can tie up the game on their first drive. Wallace will be returning the kick. He dances a bit, but barely gets across the 20. First play for Miami, a screen to Wallace that might actually count as a run. Didn't get anything regardless. Next play, Tannehill running out of time, finds Wallace on the comeback, angles to the sideline but turns up field. Defender thought he was running out, makes the guy miss, and down at the 28. They quickly go into the no huddle, they don't want Denver to challenge if he stepped out. Miller gains 6 on the run. They're just outside the red zone thanks to the big play from Wallace, and now a big play from Gibson. He holds on to it, touchdown Miami, and they tied it back up at 21. The past two playoff games have been pretty slow before Miami's defense took hold and put a dagger in the other team. Today has been nothing but exciting. That's what happens when you play against Peyton Manning. Hillis makes the catch and powers through two defenders for the first. Next play, Manning drops back, throws over the middle to Dreesen, who had the touchdown before the half, tackled at midfield. The Broncos offense is getting into gear. Manning to Hillis, trucks a guy over before getting laid out. Second down, Manning rolls to his left, running out of time, and I don't know how that wasn't a fumble. Tuck roll? To keep the drive alive, pocket collapsing, Welker is open underneath and gets the first down. New set of downs, clean pocket, Manning throws, Thomas makes the catch, no, knocked out by Clemens. After the incompletion, Manning has no time, sacked by Cameron Wake, second on the day for him. Third down, they just trying to get back into field goal range. Sacked again, this time by Ellerby. The Dolphins bent, but didn't break. Is this where Miami does what they've done the past two playoff games? Depends if they continue to let Tannehill throw. We'll see right now. They hand it to Miller, left to side, almost at the edge, but tackled before getting there. Second down, play action. Tannehill has time, moves to his right, heart line getting open, and throws another terrible pass. To avoid a three and out, another play action, Tannehill runs to his right, he tries to check it down to Keller, and still misses. I wouldn't be surprised to see Miami move on from Tannehill after this game. He hasn't been good, not even okay. Welker back to return the punt, returns it past the 35, downed at the 37. Broncos have been able to move the ball in the air thanks to Dreesen, who's been Manning's favorite target so far. Second down, plenty of time in the pocket, and forces one to Dreesen in double coverage and still makes the catch for the first down. New set of downs, Misi shoots through the gap to sack Manning. That's his first on the day. Second down, Manning drops back and dumps one off to Hillis to get the sack yardage back. Third down to keep the drive alive, Manning throws to King on the drag who's been royalty and keeps the drive going. Getting closer to scoring range, Hillis takes the handoff for a short gain. That'll probably be the last play in the third quarter. 
which means we're going to the fourth with the score tied 21 to 21. To start the fourth quarter, Manny lost one to Thomas in triple coverage for the first. No, the ref said he didn't have possession of it to the ground, which means third down. To keep the drive alive, Denver sets up a screen, Hillis has blocking but decides to boogie down for a bit and tackled near the marker. The measuring sticks are being brought out and it's short. Denver decides to kick the field goal instead of going for it and will be up 24-21. Miami has called upon Tannehill to put a dagger in teams, but he couldn't do it. Can he be called upon to rally his team back? Wallace returns the kick, but only able to get back to the 20. They play action to Miller, who's been having a great game, throws to Hartline on the sideline for a nice catch. Maybe today is the day that Tannehill has his moment. He sits in the pocket, plenty of time, throws deep. I, I don't, I don't know why he keeps throwing deep. Denver has the ball back. Look, there's still a lot of time left for Miami. No need to panic just yet. Manning steps up in the pocket and throws into the dirt. Next play, Manning takes off with it. It's a snail. It's a turtle. It's Peyton Manning. Easiest sack Wake will ever get. Third on the day two. Third down, Miami can get the ball back here. Manning steps to his right, throws deep. Thomas is wide open and gets them into Miami territory. Following the big play, quick screen to Welker, but Miami was ready for it, tackled for a loss of two. Second down, Manning dropped back to roast the Decker underneath for a short game. Second chance for Miami to get the ball back, Hillis takes it up the middle, but not even close to the first down. I don't think the Broncos are afraid of Miami scoring a touchdown this quarter, as they now lead 27-21. Five minutes remaining in the game, is that enough time for Miami to get a touchdown to tie things? Based on Tannehill's performance so far, it's not looking good. And Wallace gets tackled by a guy taking a nap. Let's see how they come out on this drive. Tannehill to Wallace on the C route for the first down. Next play, Tannehill drops back, throws to the flat for Miller, has space, jukes out of his own skin, and gains seven. Second down, play action, Tannehill to Keller in the flat for the first down. With just under four minutes to go, Tannehill throws a risky pass to Hartline but falls incomplete. Second down, Denver brings the blitz. Tannehill throws right before he gets hit. Hartline catches it and gets them into Bronco territory. First down, Miller takes the handoff, goes to his right, heads up field, and tackled inches short of the first. The two fullbacks set again. Lane takes it up the middle for the first down. Next play, Miller takes the handoff, taking it left, has the blocks, and a touchdown saving tackle by Seiler. Now at the two minute warning, two fullbacks set again, Clay takes it up the middle for a gain of six. Second down, Tannehill pitches it to Miller, tries to get the edge, but Denver was not giving anything. Third and two, Miller up the middle, and he gets the first down. 25 seconds left, they hand it to Miller, who gets to the one yard line, but can't get in. Can Denver make the stop? Tannehill sneaks it in, and they're now tied 27-27. With this extra point, Miami takes the lead for the first time today, 28-27. There's only 15 seconds left in the game. This has become a thriller. I don't know if Denver can win, but with Manning, anything is possible. Welker takes the short kick to the 27. All they have to do is get into field goal range for a game winning kick and Manning is sacked by Starks. They will have to burn their last time out. Now it all comes down to this. Five seconds left. Manning throws deep. It's still in the air and Taylor picks it off. That is it. Miami is going to the Super Bowl. By far this was one of the most exciting games this postseason. I didn't expect two wildcard teams to battle it out this hard but they'll definitely give their Super Bowl opponent a run for their money. That opponent being the 49ers. Last time Miami made a Super Bowl was against them. Can the outcome be different this time? Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please consider pressing the like button and subscribe to never miss out on a new upload. I'll see you all in the Super Bowl.